winning. Winning. The thrill of victory and avoiding the agony of defeat begins by building a strong foundation. Create a mindset that helps you overcome obstacles and allows you to achieve greatness. This is Don Guyman for the win. This is another episode of For the Win. This has been a tough week in our household as we had to put down our little dog, Eddie, who we'd had for 13 years. He's a Dashian who is going to turn 14 in just a couple of weeks. He's a rescue dog whose owner had given up on him. We got him from the Humane Society. We got him and he was sick and it healed him and he'd had various ailments over the years. Many times I thought he was going to go, but he kept hanging around. And eventually just got to the point where he couldn't walk. He couldn't do those things and really had lost a lot of weight and realized that he wasn't going to get any better. It was very tough. Now, last year in May, we lost another little dog named Cole. Cole passed away. He was a he was a Chihuahua Terrier mix. Eddie and Cole were good friends. I'll miss them because they always used to sit there at the top of our stairs and I'd come home and I would see them there to welcome me. Now, one thing I didn't appreciate at the time, but now I miss, is they used to howl. They'd howl and howl and try to howl over each other. And it get annoying. There are times maybe I'd even spray water in the direction or tell them, hey, be quiet. I'd be on meetings and people say, are those your dogs? But after Cole passed, the howling stopped. Till just a couple of weeks ago, and I think Eddie was trying to do it again, but had gotten too weak to do it. At that time, I didn't appreciate the howls. But after Cole died, and now Eddie's gone, I miss it. Because I'll never have those times again. And I regret not cherishing those moments of those dogs and recognizing that they had their friendship and they were something that they could do together. Are we like that at other times in our life? Not recognizing the blessing that time that we have. And sometimes forgetting to ignore the good. Once in my career, I had a office on the 10th floor, had a nice view of the Capitol building here in Salt Lake City, Utah. But then the company decided that they were going to most likely be selling that floor or renting it out to another company. So they moved me to the fourth floor. Then my fourth floor office had a nice view of the air conditioning system of the building. And just beyond that, the parking garage. I went from having a great view to a view of the air conditioning system. But I learned at that time to look up and recognize that I had could look at the air conditioning, air conditioning system or I could look up and see the beautiful skies and the world around me. I recognize to appreciate things at that moment. I now wish I had done that with Eddie and Cole and recognize that moment that just those two dogs having a moment together. Are we like that in our lives? Not recognizing the moment that we have and being thankful for it. I would encourage us all to be in the moment and recognizing the moments as they arrive. They'll never come again. Your children, while they might seem a bother now to read to them, they're not going to ask you to read to them in a few years. They're not going to want to go play ball or do some of those things that they like to do as children. So appreciate those times. Appreciate the times at work when things might not be going right because they teach you lessons of how you can get better for the future. Appreciate what you have now and be thankful for them. Always be working to get better, but be appreciative of what you have right now. This has been Don Guyman for The Win.